What I expect to hear from you right now is, are you insane? What kind of an insult is this? Why would you compare the ITEL S23 Plus with the iPhone 15 Pro Max? Guys, calm down. Look at the two phones right here. Which one is taller? The ITEL S23 Plus, right? Always respect people that are taller than you. Okay, let's be serious for once. Although these phones are not in the same class or in the same league, they have some similarities which I bet you are not aware of. So let's find out these similarities and talk about their differences so we can have some peace. I understand that a lot of my viewers here, me included, cannot afford a brand new iPhone or understand why they are so expensive. So in this video, I'm going to be as clear and simple as I can as I explain the differences. The ITEL S22 Plus is around $200 and the official price in Nigeria is 152,400 Naira. iPhone 15 Pro Max is $1,600 for the 1TB variant in Amazon according to GSM Arena. The one I have here is the 256GB variant and I got it for 1,850,000 Naira. You can use the link in the description to buy these phones online with a special discount. On their similarities, the most obvious one is their camera module. You can argue that iPhone already have this same module long before iTel decided to copy them. That is not my business. The business of the day is that they have similar camera module. iPhone users, sorry about the lightning charging port that is not a story for the past. The fact that the 15 Pro Max now comes with a Type-C charging port puts it somehow on the same level as the iTel S23 Plus and a host of other Android phones using the same charging port. I somehow feel pity for iPhone users because the lightning charging port on the iPhone is one of their long-standing stronghold. Now that it has fallen, I wonder what they are going to hold on to. Then the third similarity is their dynamic bar. On the iPhone, it starts working by default from the moment you turn the phone on. On the S23 Plus, it's almost impossible to know how it works. I have checked the display settings, desktop settings, personalization settings, special functions and accessibility settings and I just can't find where to turn the dynamic bar on. The last similarity between them is their storage space. Both phones have 256GB variant with the same 8GB memory. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to this channel and like the video. You can also join my WhatsApp channel by using the link in the description. There are still further minor similarities between them, like always on display and support for face unlock. I can even go further to say that iTel has some better features here. For example, it supports fingerprint unlock. This is also almost the same as the Touch ID on older iPhones. Unfortunately, the iPhone 15 Pro Max does not support this Touch ID, making it the first advantage of the iTel S23 Plus over the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Then, the curved display of the iTel S23 Plus is so excellent that I can't really ignore it. Even though the iPhone has a better display, the S23 Plus has a display type that is missing in the iPhone. The last one for me is that the iPhone 15 Pro Max can overheat for life. This is a real issue because unlike the S23 Plus with a plastic back, the titanium back of the iPhone makes overheating a big punishment. Now let's see what really really makes them different. The first one is their camera. Although the iTel S23 Plus has a 50 megapixel primary camera sensor against the 48 megapixel sensor of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, pictures taken on both phones do not reflect their spec. For one thing though, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has up to 25 times zoom, while the S23 can only go as far as 10 times. It becomes a real punishment for the S23 Plus as you zoom in on far objects because that is when you get to see loss in image quality. Pictures under most circumstances are better with the iPhone's camera. The only advantage of the S23 Plus is that it has brighter shots when pictures are taken in dark area. Brightness here does not mean clearer, so don't think for a second that the S23 takes better shots. The iTel S23 Plus camera is good, no doubt about that, especially when you consider where the company is coming from. But you can't just compare footages on this camera with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Whether it is a normal shot or a portrait shot, the iPhone's camera will still win. The second big difference for me is their build. While the S23 Plus looks sleek and light, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is more rugged and strong. With its titanium back and Super Retina XD Arrow OLED display, it features protection against accidental drop downs. So at a distance where the S23 Plus will be destroyed if it falls, the iPhone 15 Pro Max might survive with just a few scratch and also consider that it is water resistant. There are lots and lots of reasons why the iPhone 15 Pro Max is better than the iTel S23 Plus. Gaming ability, processing power, security, display and even audio quality 
If we decide to get into every one of them, we might run out of data. Tell me what you think. Click this video to watch the full review of the ITEL S23 Plus. That's it for now. See you in my next video.